Well, too bad winter did not start today. It would have been appropriate because we had temperatures that were in the 40s, but it's the last day of fall and one more day as winter arrives tomorrow. The winter solstice tomorrow at 1059 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and tomorrow marks the shortest day of the year. Then the days start to get longer, but of course that warm air lags behind by a couple of months and really not too warm out there at all today. We were well below average, only 46 in Greenville for the high 46 in Clemson. We had quite a bit in the way of a breeze as well out of the east northeast and that made it colder. 48 in Tacoa, 44 into Asheville. And looking outside, good visibility. Traffic's moving along just fine and we have increasing clouds and by morning maybe a few rain showers. Yeah, we're not talking about snow, but we're getting temperatures now that are cold enough to support snow. 35 in Lawrence, 36 in Newberry, 39 in Hartwell with Brevard at 32 in Asheville at at 33 and the winds are calm or very light coming out of the east so the wind really not a factor but we are seeing the clouds increasing from the south and west as high pressure is beginning to move away and you can start to see some rain showing up across central Georgia off the coast of Charleston South Carolina and then farther to the west across the deep south into Mississippi as we have low pressure across the northeast Gulf of Mexico and that's going to be tracking into Florida and then up the coast and as I mentioned earlier Earlier, we just don't have enough cold air in place to change any of this rain to snow. If we had a big cold air mass in place, that would be different, but that's not the case as we go with this system. Tonight, we'll be looking at those clouds increasing, and that will tend to keep temperatures from plummeting too much. And then by tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., still pretty dry, but maybe a few showers beginning to pop up around 9 or 10. I think most of this will be along and south of I-85, maybe some showers creeping farther to the north. And then this event is winding down tomorrow evening. That leads to clearing skies as we go into Tuesday night and on into your Wednesday as well. By Wednesday morning, we're looking dry as the system is continuing to move away. And we're looking at that dry condition to continue on into your Thursday as well. Christmas Eve Eve is looking dry, as is Christmas Eve as well. And then as we go into Christmas Day, could see a few showers, especially into the mountains. But the bigger story will be the warm conditions. Conditions. And if you're traveling across the lower 48 for tomorrow, looking at 44 in Seattle, some showers, 65 in LA with partly sunny skies, Denver at 60. But here's winter, Minneapolis 24 with snow, while in Orlando, west coast of Florida 77 with rain in New York City, looking at 44 degrees. For tonight, 32, mostly cloudy for the upstate. For the mountains, you're looking at 28 degrees with mostly cloudy skies, around 50 and more in Cal Pence tomorrow, Greer around 50 with 50 in Hartwell. In fact, that's a popular number from Seneca to 96 and into the mountains. We're looking at cold 40s for you around 45 into Silva. Maybe a few showers in the mountains, a better chance of those in the upstate 50 tomorrow, 58 Wednesday, a little cooler Thursday and then Friday 60 as Santa lets us down, bringing warm weather from the North Pole. Must be warm there. And on Saturday, Christmas Day, 67. And for the mountains, cold tomorrow, and then 50s thereafter, and staying dry. And Christmas Day, a slight chance of a shower, but mild even into the higher terrain, 62 and low 60s Sunday on into Monday.